as you guys may or may not have seen by now, the Braille house is done. It's a wrap, bro. GG's. They're tearing it down, or I think it's already fully torn down. Uh, I saw Nigel post it first on Instagram. He pulled up, I think, to go teach a skate lesson, and he had no idea because apparently they didn't give any of the employees a heads up. But yeah, he pulled up, and to his surprise, they were tearing the park down, and he took it to Instagram because he was pretty upset. Uh, so yeah, a lot of the employees or ex-employees, whatever they currently are, I don't know, but they're not too happy with how things have unfolded. And it's funny because I just posted a video like two weeks ago giving Braille a ton of praise and I'm not taking any of that back. I'm just here to just be like, damn, bro, it's it's sad to see Braille go away. Obviously not Braille as a whole, like the company is still going to continue from what it seems like they've been posting on Instagram, that's what it sounds like. But yeah, no more Braille House videos, which it is sad to see, but I'm not too surprised because I have been seeing how other things have been unfolding. Andy Schrock recently had to uh, scale down his warehouse and get rid of a portion of his park. So the question was in conversation around that time, like if Braille was gonna be next to get rid of their warehouse completely because the barracks just shut down too. Damn, bro, it's. Damn, wait, this is actually a lot. What the hell? I've been watching Braille since I was the last kid, bro. I've told you guys this before, but yeah, I'm talking like 11 or 12 years old. I'm 23 now. I learned a handful of tricks from Aaron himself through the videos, and I was lucky enough to start skating there as early as 2017, I think. 2017, I went there for the first time, and over the next six, almost seven years, they always just welcomed me with open arms, and I was able to skate there a handful of times, and I'll never skate there again. So this video is gonna be a compilation of just a bunch of clips, cool moments uh, of my time at the Braille House. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below and uh yeah bro my last uh my last braille house video so i hope you guys enjoy so right now we're on our way up to the san francisco area we're going to the braille house they do these like monthly they're like every other month braille parties and this month it's a costume party so i got the garrett jenner wig sunglasses some ramen so i think it's gonna be pretty fun my mom's the one driving so shout out to her really nigga I was like 14, I used to do a lot of pressure flips and pressure hard flips, just pressure flip variations. I'm gonna see if I go pressure flip and pressure hard flip down the five stairs. This is my first time at the Braille House since the remodel, and wow, I'm speechless. I feel like I'm in heaven. Wow. I'm just kidding, I was here last night and I got these clips.
professional skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. My name's Eric Kyle, the sponsor skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. We're gonna play a game of skate. Trey double flip. The hardest trick ever. Body. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe a regular kickflip would be cool. <laughs> slow-mo because even just watching it back frame by frame it's hard to see what the fuck i'm doing i've never done any type of 720 shove flip bigger flip like nothing like that oh my god i think i've tried this before and i rolled my ankle oh. i barely even popped but i was counted bro <laughs> Like the trick you did? Um, yeah. 
What do you think the board was doing when it was in the air? Like on it? Yeah. No, no, you 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 use your hands, use your hands. Like what did the board do? <laughs> yeah, I did a heel flip. <laughs> Look at the way it's spinning. Oh, I see. Okay, so now show it what it did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Might as well take her to the half pipe. <laughs> That's sick. Pretty good for you. Hello? 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 I'm scared. Oh, what's good, Ricky? What up? Yo, thanks for letting us oh. stay here. Who needs a hotel when you got the Braille house? What's good, what's good? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, the wood's not even that bad, huh? For real. Feels like my mattress at home. Imagine in the middle of the night that fucking light just falls on my face. You're dying. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna have dreams of fucking air in Cairo. <laughs> I normally can't sleep without like a bedtime story first. Once upon a time, there was this man named Aaron Cairo and he touched me. Whoa, what? <laughs> He's like, my name is Aaron Cairo. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Damn, your dream came true. He said he was gonna have a dream of you touching him. Yeah. Not in a bad way, not in a bad way. <laughs> you taught me no slides and crooked grinds. Yeah? Yeah, cause like I couldn't keep all my weight on my front foot and then something you said in one of the videos just like clicked and then you reposted my clips and I was so hyped. I was like, thank you so much. Like I wouldn't, ha I wouldn't be where I'm at without all of you guys. Like it was, it was so wholesome. <laughs> All right, now do that and I'll throw the ball to you. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, shit. Now I'll throw the actual basketball, you catch it and then shoot it all the way into the hoop. Oh, <laughs>